Hello, everybody. It is currently November 1st, uh, and the squad October 2017 recap has just released. I went over it once before a little bit, uh, just briefly, but now we're going to go into it more in depth and uh, give you kind of my ideas, my thoughts, my first impressions on some of the stuff that they're uh, recapping this month. So, first thing off the bat, they're going to talk about the animation system progress again. And it's cool to see that the animation system is still getting worked on. However, I was expecting V10 to be released by now, and hopefully we'll see it come out soon. I can't wait. I'm really, I'm really dying for V10 here. Uh, we've been on V9 for quite a while, and I'm just dying for that V10 complete rework. Because as soon as V10 comes out, God, Squad is going to be like so much better. It's going to be so different. It's going to feel almost like a completely new game with all the different new assets, mod support, uh, bipods, free look, vaulting, um, and all, all these cool new uh, kind of features that they're going to be adding in V10. So just got to hang on a little longer until they push that out. Hopefully it's right around the corner. I really can't wait any longer. Uh, so first new thing that they have with the animation system is the weapon collision. And very obviously, it's when your weapon collides with an object in front of you. And now as much as this is a visual update and something, you know, that kind of adds to the realism. So your gun isn't like poking through the wall and... And, and so you have kind of a more immersive uh, feel when you move around objects. This is as much a gameplay change. So in CQB battles, you have to be conscious of the space in between you and the uh, wall or object in front of you so that you can have your rifle up. So that's a really cool both visual and gameplay change. It's going to be just like the uh, visual gameplay change of the standing to prone, where right now you go instantly from standing to prone. Uh, once the animation update comes out, there will be an animation where you will go from standing to prone. And that, of course visually and immersive and immersion wise adds a lot but also uh gameplay wise you'll no longer be able to drop shot and do stuff like that so i really can't wait for these more realistic more hardcore and more immersive uh features in the animation system to be released with v10 i'm really looking forward to this uh, the next thing they're going to be talking about is the main menu ui that just a small quality of life uh, upgrade we're not really going to talk about this too much one thing that i did note here is that they do have modding at the top here so hopefully modding is coming around i know they're still trying to fix a couple things but i'm really looking forward to having modding out especially for squad ups and for our operations uh, we're going to be launching some pretty cool hardcore stuff with mod support once that releases so cool stuff with the uh, main menu ui but not really too big of a topic i don't think art wise they're releasing the m240 bravo model pictures and they look as usual as usual very professional and very clean uh, um, the M240 Bravo is a medium level machine gun for the uh, US forces and it's going to be cooler. Uh, it's going to be real cool to see a weapon with a larger caliber than the saw uh, being used as an MG and seeing how that's going to change gameplay. And if that does add more suppression or if that can go through more objects and stuff like that, it's going to be really cool to add a higher caliber weapon for the infantrymen on the army. And uh, we'll go through here and watch the preview. So as usual, they have clean animations, clean sound, and really, really nice modeling on the uh, MT40 Bravo as per usual for, for OWI standards on uh, new assets. But yeah, can't, look, can't wait for that. They're adding a new rocket launcher, the RPG-26 Aglan for the uh, Russians. And that's going to be uh, cool. It's going to be the counterpart to the uh, M72 law that the US has. And uh, as you can see in this short little gif right here is there's a uh, zeroing aspect to it which is going to come with the law as well and all other the all other launches as you can see right here that it's zeroing so it's real cool that they're adding zeroing to almost everything that has zeroing so that's cool stuff um they're adding the tt33 and the m17 uh handguns so if you like the handguns cool stuff uh i do enjoy actually using the m9 a lot but uh we'll see how these new um handguns affect gameplay it's probably just going to add a little more spice to the mix and then finally, mapping. Uh, they're adding or showcasing, excuse me, a new map called Mestia. It looks very much like Fool's Road. Like right off the bat, this looks like the south side of uh, Fool's Road. And I do enjoy the foresty maps a lot. OP First Light, honestly, is one of my favorite maps, even though it's like meant to be the experimental like prototype map. Like OP First Light is one of my favorite maps. Um, but yeah, looking here, it looks like a... Uh, you have these great open landscapes with like the roads and the hills and, and the cliffs. But then you have those... Uh, bunkers and ruins and uh, castles with the trees and everything so um it looks very nice it looks like a very peaceful <laughs> place to visit if this if if i could visit this like with the sun and everything the lighting is always amazing in squad um but yeah 
it's got kind of that uh, ruined castle, foresty, uh, wide expanses kind of feel. Um, so can't wait to see that in game as well. That's going to be a fun map to play. I always enjoy playing on the new maps. All right, and that's pretty much it for the uh, October 2017 recap. This is Karma Cut for November 1st. Uh, more content coming out later this week. Streams every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this uh, recap first impressions can't wait to see v10 i'm hoping it's right around the corner i really am we've been on v9 for like a year i need v10 i'm like itching for it but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching the video and don't forget to check out humble monthly for over a hundred dollars worth of games every month for just twelve dollars you'll also get 10 percent off their entire store funded charity and support this channel all at the same time check it out in the description below